I want to talk about the three-dimensional coordinate system. Here I have a picture of the three-dimensional coordinate system. It's got three axes, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. And this is the typical orientation with the x-axis sort of coming out at you, the y-axis going to the right, and the z-axis going up. So the x-y plane that you're used to is lying flat. Now, how do you plot points in the 3D coordinate system? Let's start by plotting point A, which has coordinates 1, 2, and 5. Since there are three axes, we need three coordinates. And it's going to be x, y, z, 1, 2, and 5. So first I look for x equals 1, and that's here. And then y equals 2, and that's here. And I find the point in the x, y plane that they correspond to, and that's right here. And then for the third coordinate, 5, I just go up 5 units. So if this is one unit, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is going to be my point A. Let's try another one. B, which is 4, 6, 2. First thing I do is I locate 4 on the x-axis. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. I locate 6 on the y-axis, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is right here. So 4, 6 is down here, right, on the x-y plane. Now from here, I need to go up 2 units. This is how long a unit is, so I go vertically up 1 and then 2. And that's going to be my point B, which is 4, 6, 2. So that's basically how points are plotted in the 3D coordinate system. Now, Let's talk about vectors in the coordinate system, specifically position vectors. Now remember, in two dimensions, a position vector is a vector that goes from the origin to a point P, and it's exactly the same thing in three dimensions. So let's draw the position vector OP. Goes from the origin to point P, which has coordinates x, y, and z. Now I want to find, and I want to be able to write the components of a vector like this. And the components of a position vector will always be just x, y, and z, the coordinates of the point where the vector terminates. And I want to find the length of this vector, OP. And I can do it using what I know about two-dimensional vectors. Let's talk about the point that is right below it in the x, y plane, point A. Point A is going to have coordinates x, y, and 0, right? All the points in the xy plane have a z coordinate of 0. So this will be x, this will be y, and this tells me that this distance here can be found using the Pythagorean theorem. And what that distance is is the length of vector OA. So OA its length squared is going to be x squared plus y squared. x is this length and y is this length. So x squared plus y squared. Now secondly, let me take a look at vector AP. AP goes straight up from point A in the xy plane to point P. And its length is z. So the length of OP squared, the length of this, this length squared, is going to be this length squared plus this length squared, because this is a right triangle. And it's hard to see when you have it drawn in perspective like this, but this is a right angle. Um, any, any vector pointing straight up is going to be perpendicular to any vector lying flat in the xy plane. All right, so this is going to be equal to OA squared plus AP squared. Now we already found OA squared. It's x squared plus y squared. And AP squared is just z squared. And here we have it. The magnitude of OP squared is x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So the magnitude of OP is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. This magnitude not only gives you the length of the position vector OP, it also gives you the distance from this point to the origin. So the distance from point P to the origin 
is x squared, the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. 